All right, so I have these pH strips. Let's give it a quick dunk and we will see what we are working with. Usually these strips only require a very quick dunking. Oh, we've got pretty good color change already. As a reminder, this, oops, I'm off, I'm off screen. This is what a fresh one looks like and this is what my other one looks like. So let's find out which one it looks like. We are maybe at the 3.0 range. That looks pretty close. All right, so I'm going to keep this for future reference. I'm hoping that these colors won't change as the days go on, but I have labeled this day five sauerkraut, and let's see if this changes over the next few days as well, if it gets even more acid or maybe even more alkaline. All right, so now let's test our pH here. As a reminder, this is our control and this. All right, so if you remember, our previous one was at about a three and we are clearly not at a three. Just as a quick recall, this was our sauerkraut one, day five, lining up with a three really nicely. This one is definitely not at a three and I checked and we're going to have to, so this top layer, we're not gonna look at so closely, but this green section right here, we're gonna look at a little bit closer. And it looks like we're lining up with maybe a 5.0 in pH. That seems to be getting pretty close to what our strip looks like. So very interesting. Our sauerkraut's at about a 3.0 uh, in pH and the uh, sauerkraut with, uh, Onions, garlic, and fennel is at a five in pH, so it's technically less acidic. All right, so just as a reminder, I did label them. I do need to get a different pen for this, but uh, this is our control that has uh, not been tested. This one is our sauerkraut at a pH of three, and this is our day five sauerkraut plus uh, with our onions, cap onions, garlic, and fennel at a pH of five. So we'll see how these compare at day seven. All right, so this is sauerkraut day number eight. And as you can tell from our previous time, we did have calm yeast at the top. And since I removed my free-floating herbs, ever since I did that, there is no more calm yeast on the top. So we did something good there, uh, and we effectively managed our calm yeast, quote-unquote, infection. It wasn't a problem anyway. So uh, how about let's test our pH of our eight-day sauerkraut. Ooh, that looks like it has changed quite a bit. Let's compare. So looking at our test strip, it looks like we're going to be based off of that this top color right here and it looks like we're at about a three i might be off and i might need to get a better quality ph strip but i would say that we're still at a three so uh this ph has not changed from our previous uh day five sauerkraut ph uh reading uh but you know my previous strip of course did not <laughs> did not stand the test of time. I did write down pH three. Did get smudged. Oh well. Color did change. Oh well. So uh, so we are still at a three point oh in pH, and things are still looking good. All right. So let's test the pH of our cabbage, onion, garlic, and fennel ferment. And from our previous one, I'm not sure if you saw, but our color faded from our previous results. It was at a five, but clearly it's not staying at a five in pH. You know, that color did change. Uh, that top blue isn't the same, but you know, I would like to make sure that we are getting a fresh reading from this. So let's see what we are working with. And Let's get a reading. And it says to only dunk for half a second. And so that's what we're doing here. And it looks like it looks like we're still at about like a five, five point five. We might have even gone a little bit more alkaline and we're at a five point five now. Um, but comparatively with our previous one, you know, it can be hard to compare, but those two are still seeming to be about the same thing. It just looks like the bottom one is wetter and the top one has just dried out. So we will keep measuring this as the days go on. This one is day five, this one being day eight. All right, hello everyone. It is day number 11 and I have actually already done a uh, pH reading. And so as we look at uh, 
it does line up still quite nicely with a 3.0 in our uh, pH uh, uh, scale. Uh, this section right here, this top layer, is a little bit too, uh, this is too yellow, and this one does line up nicely with a 3.0, and that top layer is too brown at a 3.5. So I still would say that it's a 3.0. Uh, so with it being a 3.0 at day 5, day 8, and day 11, I would say that we have now three variables and they all are lining up quite nicely with our sauerkraut to give us a stable rating. And so it looks like I do have a stable sauerkraut at a 3.0 in pH, which is really quite acidic uh, and interesting. Oh, got a floater. All right. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.